Ah, shit, I should post this up. Ah, fuck. Ah, shit. Ah, tits. Ah, ah, I need to find it. I need to get rain up. <laughs> I don't want to get rain up, though. Because that shit's gay. Yeah, it is very gay. <laughs> it's super freaking gay. Hey. All right, so do we want to actually start this properly? Or Fuck we just... it, we're going live now. <laughs> we're doing it right now. You are really excited. Holy shit. This is what months long of not doing this does to you. God, it just drives me insane is what it does. So, I guess this is the start then. Shit. Um, hi, I'm Far. <laughs> hi, Platty. Yeah, and uh, this is Far and Platty read a webcomic where we are officially now worse than Polydob. With timing. Yeah, officially we are because, you know, we take longer than he, he does. For understandable reasons. Somehow, we have managed to be even more late than he is. Yeah, and we took the longest break possible in taking notes. <laughs> And legit is like, hey, we should take notes. And then we got halfway through the chapter and it's like, I don't fucking want to continue taking notes. We tried doing it together, too, to make it better. Nah, we are burned out. And this is a fucking short chapter, too. So I have um, come to the conclusion that we should probably never take notes together anymore. It's probably a good idea. Oh, God. Uh, that was an experience. Uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, we're bad at this. We really are. We have- uh, how- how many chapters do we have to go through on this shit? Like, way too fucking many. That's how many. Man, it's gonna take a decade to get through- <laughs> There's 39 chapters right now. This is chapter 5. We're fucked. We need to get our shit together, so, uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do we want to start taking chapters, like, more at a time and just kind of more condense them? I mean, we can, but we're dumb, so we didn't think of that. So, instead of how we've been describing it so far, where I have been taking way too fucking long describing it... Oh, yes. We try. We have tried to shorten our recording sessions down. It is my fault. I, I do fully admit that. So, instead of me, uh trying to figure out how to describe this shit, I wrote it down beforehand. Just a, a short summary of sorts, so we can just discuss what we want to discuss, and hopefully make this shorter. Yes. In my hands, I hold a notebook with way more tabs on it than I'd really like to admit, and I have a shitty shorthand description here. Would you like to hear it, Platy? I would, but l let, me, let me ask you this. Is this notebook, like, dedicated to rain? Yes. We're going to burn that one day. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll sell it on eBay. It'll go for it'll go for big money. Last episode of this entire s series thing that we're doing, just just a video of us burning it and going ah, therapeutic. By the end of this, there's gonna be more than one notebook. Maybe we should just shoot them, line them up, and shoot them instead. So go ahead and get your get your summary out of the way. Maria and Gavin are back together. Emily is having a party and is inviting everyone. Rain is worried about passing and doesn't know if she wants to go because of this. Rudy got beat up because gay. Doesn't want to tell Maria. Maria offers to help Rain with a costume. Farah started an online dating profile and is a cunt to the gym teacher. Kylie learns about p the party and she joins the group costume shopping where Gavin just happens to invite her for whatever reason. Maria gets Rain a surprise costume, which Rain only tries on at home, which apparently cost Maria all her money. Oh, and also the costume fits Rain perfectly, because of course it does. And that's the chapter. Can we, can we get this out of the way really quick? Because personally, I think we need to not rail so much. Like, I think we've, we've talked about it enough. We all know at this point, the art is terrible. There are so many, so many failures throughout this entire thing. So many just glaring issues. I just want to put it on record. Her fucking blushes suck ass. <laughs> the way she draws blushes makes it look like they have whiskers half the time. Add some color, you're using digital art. Holy shit. Do you really want to see what she would do with the, the fucking airbrush tool? Doesn't she use that already? It looks like everything's crayon drawn or something. I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe we'll save time just not railing on it all the time. And honestly, there's, there's, we will just honestly end up repeating ourselves and finding more and more things to do. Yeah. 
That's why after a bit I kind of stopped taking notes on the artwork itself. Because I mean there's only so many times you can say it's bad. <laughs> Although I say this and I'm staring at the cover page now and I'm only just noticing. Uh, you know the arm that's holding out the invitation? Yes. Do you see the inside of the sleeve? Yeah, let's see. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! It goes, it's, it's not even colored through. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> you missed a little place to fill in, the, to put the fill in for white there. So yeah, well, let's let's like go through this. For me, I want to bring up the whole uh, what is it? Marie and Gavin are back together. Yeah, Marie's got a beard back. It was such a uh, like side point of like, oh yeah, they're fake dating because it's a cover, and they fake broke up, but they really didn't fake break up. They just had a fight, but but for some reason, everyone that has a side character. I, I say in my notes, it's like, who the fuck are these people? Why are all these people watching these? Why are they? What are they doing? Where are they? What's going on? I don't understand. Just that entire sequence of like, hey, they're 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 in eagerly anticipating whether or not the people who are socially ostracized are back together or not, which makes no sense. But okay. It also doesn't help that like half the characters there. The only reason you would even know their names is if you looked at the, the character, character page. page. Yeah, the majority of them, you don't even know what their names are. And uh, that's a huge problem with um, later on as well, when they show the whole we're, we're inviting everyone thing, and they show all the people that they're inviting, that a good chunk of the characters there too, you don't know who they are unless you go to the character page yet again. I mean, who the fuck is this bitch with the pigtails? Like, we see her all the time. I still don't remember who she is. I don't even know who she is. But apparently she's important enough to have her own little description thing on the character page. Same with the guy next to her. I don't know. I mean, there's not a problem with having side characters, I just want to say that now. Plenty of things have side characters, but you need to be able to, I don't know, have them kind of be part of your story without it seeming entirely forced. She's just trying to cram as many characters as she possibly can into her story and it just doesn't work. Another thing um, I think we should bring up is how they she kind of changes Emily's character a bit. Oh, yeah, completely changes it. There's a few, th like, I made a note as, like, she has this whole uh, perfect girl attitude, but I guess something, it's now something different? Keep in mind, she was kind a of- A total bitch? Yeah, a total bitch, but fairly indifferent as well to Rain. Wasn't she also, like, a little bit antagonistic as well? Yeah, absolutely not nice person material. And yet now she's like inviting everyone to a party and being really nice to Rain? Which makes no sense. Except for when you consider... Now, I don't know if anyone really gives a shit about spoilers or not, but Emily does become a main character later on. And I have a feeling that this is the point where Jocelyn kind of decided she wanted to start making Emily nicer so she could justify making her a main character later on. Yes, make a main character likable. That's what you have to do. Another thing though, we talked about this a little bit, but this is the point where I started taking notes again because we took a break around where this started happening and then this is where we came back to it. So this is fresh in my mind. And the page where Far is like, I'm doing online dating while I'm at work. This is a great use of my work time. On the school computers too, so hmm. So we've brought it up before. The fact that I'm pretty sure that she is taking major inspiration from Azumanga Dyer. And I'm not sure if we really said this. I mean, I know we've said it in the context of these two characters before. The gym teacher, who I cannot remember the name of for the life of me, or even if she has a name. And Far. I feel like this is, um... Oh, it's the dynamic between characters, between the, um, two characters, right? Oh god, I haven't watched it in a while, so I'm forgetting their names. But the gym teacher and the English teacher. I don't think she's really understood how that whole dynamic works and why it works. Because she's obviously trying to do that with the gym teacher and Farah. It's just it doesn't really work. The whole reason it works in Azumaka Diary is because these two characters have known each other for so long, they went to college together and now they're working together at a school, that yeah, they're pretty much friends. They're kind of antagonistic to each other. They're just two friends being assholes to each other. Pretty much. Like that's exactly their whole dynamic. They're just, they're friends but they're 
absolute dicks to each other. And that's what makes that whole dynamic great, because it's just funny to watch. And also it's the fact that they do know each other, so it's not just, you know, two random people being dicks to each other. They actually do know each other, and you know they're probably going to stay friends anyway. And see, here's the thing. One of the big things missing from that dynamic is that one of them is always right compared to the other one. It's not a case of, well, this could go either way, or this could be like, no, 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 no. It's purely Farah beating up on the gym teacher, whatever her name is. I don't even know what her name is. Just because she's said something she doesn't like. And also keep in mind that Farah is a new teacher here. These two haven't known each other for that long. And the worst part though about the, uh, you know, she beats down the gym teacher is that in the author's notes, uh, Jocelyn endorses this because she says, I mean, come on, she was asking for it that time. So what time before this was she not asking for it? So anything you want to bring up? Yes, there's the... <sighs> There's the whole thing of Rain's paranoia about a Halloween costume and passing while well in a Halloween costume. And then again, also Gavin me being made out to be the bad guy, once again, because he dares suggest that she wears a costume with a mask if she's that worried. Yeah, or the other one where... No, actually, no, that wasn't Gavin. That was actually Rudy. No, no, it wasn't. No. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 the mask one was, was Gavin. I was thinking of like, the other one where it's like, yeah, why don't you dress as a dude? And that was Rudy. I'm, I'm just thinking, cause usually that is Gavin that would say shit like that. I know that they make a joke to that, a reference to that specific point too. Rain is really, um, a fucking child, to be honest. Complete overreaction to the idea of uh, being dressed up as a guy for Halloween. Yeah, she she does her like dab away. The thing, the very fun, the funny thing about that <laughs> is that the scene before, she looks like weirdly happy. Platty, if I, if I jokingly said to you, oh yeah, for Halloween, you should totally dress up as a guy, would you be upset? Like, upset enough to be dabbing away? No. Okay, can I, can I back it up to the whole mask thing? He says, see, he suggests a scented mask, and she says, as if it's counterintuitive that a cute costume doesn't require a mask. But there's cute costumes that have masks. I saw Jocelyn's explanation of, oh yeah, guy costumes are always associated with like masks and capes and things. Bullshit. And it's like fucking bullshit. Fucking shit. What is, what are your standards on gender? What the fuck? Yeah, when I see a mask, I don't automatically think, oh, that's for guys. Come on, one of the hottest photos of you is you with a fox mask. <laughs> That's getting left in. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> like, I wouldn't consider that masculine at all. And not just that, but like, okay, uh, fun story time with Far. I grew up in a very artsy family. There have been several times where my Nana, who is dead now, rest in peace. When she was alive, she would make yes, rest in peace. She she made wearable art. She was a textile artist. That's what she liked to do. And a lot of the times, the wearable art would be designed for women. Now, a part of some of these costumes would be masks. I have worn one of these masks before. Masks are kind of the most gender neutral thing I can fucking think of. Have you never heard of a masquerade ball? Right? Fucking right? I think, honestly, I think I've seen more women wear like fancy masks than men. Her t entire talks about the costumes is like the dumbest ideas I have ever heard. Especially, they're talking about, oh, do you want to do hair dye? Is it all permanent? It's like, first off, a hair dye doesn't have to be permanent. There's temporary hair dye out there just for Halloween. Second, there's fucking wigs. I'm so glad I was not the only one that took note of that. The, the wigs, like there's wigs. And like, and the worst part is, Maria mentions it later on. Of like at the very end where she's like, she spent all her fucking money on Rain's costume. And she's like, oh, I don't think I even have money for a wig. So obviously she's aware that wigs are a thing. It's so strange. It's just so strange. And to go back to Rain being so concerned about being a tranny and passing at a costume thing. That's the beauty of being in costume. You can literally hide whatever you need to hide. Halloween would be the, the one day 
out of the year that you have to worry the least about outing yourself or something like that. Uh, unless you wear something that shows off your dick, then you're fine. And yet, what costume does Maria choose for him? Oh, that's weird skin tight. Yeah. Quite possibly the worst costume a tranny who is technically at the start of their transition could wear. Because remember, rain isn't on hormones. You know, it's what, a mini skirt with a, uh, like a tank top? A corset type deal? Yeah, a corset. It's got a tank top kind of it's supposed to accentuate the boobs. The worst possible costume she could honestly be wearing. And not just that, but this really cost Maria all her savings. This? That shitty costume? Right? This is one of those costumes that you see all the white bitches wear during Halloween. Oh yeah, the ones who are just looking for that dick. But it's passed off as, oh wow, look at Rain being dressed up as a girl for Halloween. This is so empowering. This is tranny powering. Yeah, tranny power is actually. <laughs> God, I can't. I can't bring it up. I can't do it. What? It's the art again. It's the art direction that she went with it. Is because she's tr actively chosen to draw Rain as a girl, no matter what. I understand she's supposed to be like this, but there's nothing about that character that she's drawn, uh, as bad as her drawings are, um, to look like she's a tranny or like she was a dude at some point. I can understand having trouble with that, because I do too. Like with Penny, a character that, uh, Platy helped me create years and years back by accident. I remember that. That was fun. I, I do at times have trouble making it so she's not entirely feminine. Like, it is a hard balance to, to do. As much as it's like, yeah, there's nothing about Rain that's necessarily tranny, I can understand to an extent why she would have that trouble because it is a weird thing to have to do. It's so hard to imply it to someone else other than through the words of the comic. Exactly. That's it. It's literally just that. Like, there's no, there's nothing. And here's the thing. Like, she could get away with this if they were aged up a bit and Rain had already gone through hormones and a couple of surgeries because then by, if that was the case, that like they were all aged up in college or something, Rain was on hormones and had, you know, boob job and all that. All that, you could get away with it being more feminine. The problem is that she has none of this. She hasn't even really gone to a psych about this. And we've brought it up before, I know we have, and it's like a thing that we keep beating into the ground. But it's all true. There's no reason for her to look this convincing. I mean, yeah, some people are born really feminine. Yeah, some people are. Some people will have such good luck with that that there's just no no issues really for them but man yeah this is too much this is just way too much it's it's so much a wish fulfillment anyways what else what else the house i wanted to bring this up so when rudy and maria are like at home and then they're, they're like yeah everyone's been invited except for me and his dad's like well son maybe they don't want to go partying with a gay person there's a bit more to that whole scenario, but like, that was the first thing that made me go, Okay, what the fuck? That's just straight up not how a parent would talk to their child. Even if they were like, incredibly like, not wanting their son to be gay. It's her attempt at trying to put forward a super stereotypical religious parents. Oh, absolutely. Cause then later on, uh, their mom's like, We don't use the G word in this house because there's no one here who fits that description. The G word? Excuse me? The G word. I just found that so fucking odd. Just... The G word. Who the fuck says that? If these people were really, you were really wanting to go the full way with showing these people as really shitty people, wouldn't you maybe want them to say instead, maybe they don't want to hang around a fa- Hi, I'm Fazusmi. You may know me from Noir Bar and Noir Bar and Oh Dear Lord, people probably only know me from Noir Bar. You may have heard me just before try and say the F word, as we'll call it. Please kids, don't say the F word if you don't mean it. I hope we can move on. But I still stand by my statement, you should have just called her a fucking faggot.
It's so played up and two stereotypes, and it's just, is this supposed to be clever? Are you just taking whatever stereotypes you can and shoving them all into one person, or what? It's obvious what she's trying to go for here. Like you said, stereotypical religious household, but again, like the whole like dynamic between Farah and the gym teacher just doesn't work. It really doesn't. It comes off as like so forced in. Yeah, I don't know what else we can say about that with, without repeating ourselves. So let's move on. Maria and Rudy have that argument where Gavin just ends up saying, yeah, this dude beat him up. Immediately after that, they have a weird time skip to the mall on Saturday. Yeah, it's like out of nowhere. They're just kind of, poof, they're there. It is so out of place that it's like- Jarring? Yeah, super jarring. Like, it made me feel like I had to go back and see if I missed a page or something. It's also where um, you made the point of how that whole thing of like, don't tell him I'm trans thing really was like copy and pasted. Okay, like when it comes to shit like that, that there's a forgivable amount of copy and pasting you can do. Only thing is she didn't change the faces up enough. There's literally two things where the only difference is the text and Rudy's mouth being open, and that's it. You need to change up the expressions at least. Otherwise, it's really... Ugh. And also, I want to bring up Kylie having her little crisis when she's looking at all the costumes. Okay, am I really doing this? Am I really going to this party with these people I barely know and making myself out to be a normal guy just to get closer to Rain? I like that no one's figured me out, but it's getting kind of weird. I don't usually go this far, although that's just because of Heather most of the time. But I mean, they're going to find out eventually, right? Maybe I should tell them before this gets out of hand. That entire thing. The way like, she develops her is so, so stupid. Yes, it's gender fluid bullshit. It's trying to like show that, I suppose. And it's like, man, this really is stupid. She's also doing this just to, you know, get into Rain's pants, essentially. I forgot that that was a thing. Everyone goes after Rain. Literally, everyone. And with that, I think we've discussed everything we really wanted to talk about here. The biggest asshole award. We always like that one because there always is a gigantic asshole in every single chapter. For the most part, it's actually been Farah. Yeah, it really has been Farah. Or Farah. I don't fucking know and I don't really care. And guess who it goes to again? Farah. Fucking Farah. Fucking cunt. Yeah, she's a fucking cunt. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, oh my god. What a bitch. The participation award I give to the gym teacher just because she tried. She tried being nice. She really tried. A couple more. Infuriating author's note. Oh god, there's so many, but... I mean, after a point, I stopped even paying attention to them, but mine is still the, um, the one where she's basically endorsing abuse for wrong speech. I found the one with her saying that Gavin's a dick because he dare suggested a mask. That one's a close second for me. And then the cringiest moment for me is also, no one is the G word in this house. Uh, for me, it's Kylie's monologue. All right, well, we're at the end and holy shit. Look at us, we're doing, we're doing good work this time around. Now you gotta cut this down to like 20 minutes. And that's fine. At least it's not two hours. It's not two hours. Th those two hours fucking kill me. I, I bet. So, um, Comment what you think. Uh, do you think Aunt Farah is a massive cunt? If, if you don't think that, we'll beat you up for a uh, wrong thing. Yes. Um, no, we won't. I think we should definitely ask uh, people who actually continuously watch this, uh, please let us know if you want us to just kind of do a group thing or not. Like a huge amount of... Take all these chapters all at once and call it good. Like, do you want us to do more in depth or more or less in depth? Like, what do you, what do you want from us? Yeah, do you want us to do it in, in arcs? Like, instead of, say, we, how we did Chapter 5 right now, we do, like, the whole Halloween party arc, or... Whatever next arc is. I don't remember. Yeah, I forget. I honestly, I fucking forget. <laughs> it's not memorable enough. 
It's really not. They're all just garbage anyways. Uh, the prom arc? Yes, the prom arc. But yeah, like, if, if you want shit like that, um, please tell us. I won't say like and subscribe, because that's, uh, y you'll do that on your own if you really want to. And, uh, thanks for listening to, to us, our, uh, decline into insanity. Oh, uh, no, I started out insane. We're good. There's no decline needed. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> shit. Um. All right. Thanks for, thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah, thank, thanks. Bye. Bye. Well, we don't necessarily have to get it up straight away. That's what yeah, Viagra's okay, for. <laughs> <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I have a good disposal method. Incendiary rounds. The other one, we strap it to uh, uh, something that explodes. Call it good. Can't think of anything more American. Holy fuck. You're gonna be American by the time we finish this. <laughs> Right? Oh god. <sighs> Shit. Should I just go around a bit more? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Dab, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just well it is. Do, do, just a what fucking, she's doing. do a bass drum Dab. <laughs> <laughs> A bass boost. Woo! <laughs> 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 okay. All right. Let's. Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> well, well, that was that was a great that was a great episode. Um, time to just end. <laughs> Time to go commit Sudoku. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I will commit many Sudoku. <laughs> Fucking gigantic ass snowflake rain. Literal snowflake. You cannot touch her without her breaking. Or melting. Holy damn, Batman! I'm having an existential crisis right now. Holy shit. <laughs>